everyone, this is Rebecca MC, and welcome to my travel vlog. In September of 2023, I spent an entire week in New England and New York. I started off in Boston, where I landed at Logan Airport, and went straight over to get a water taxi to go to the New England Aquarium. So I have been to the New England Aquarium before because I am from Boston. But I have not been to the aquarium in many, many, many years. If you've never been to the New England Aquarium, I definitely recommend checking it out if you're ever in Boston. It's an amazing aquarium. It's gigantic and they have all kinds of fish and marine life. There's just so much to see at the aquarium. They do shows with the sea lions. You can go to the top floor and look at this giant tank from above. Sometimes you can see the divers feeding the fish or taking care of the fish and other marine life. They've even got an area where you can touch rays and little sharks. <laughs> the next day I went to Salem, Massachusetts, home of the famous Salem Witch Trials. They had lots of spooky stuff there like a graveyard and a monument to the Salem Witch Trials. Salem is also a National Historic Site, home to the Friendship of Salem, a historic trading ship. This one's actually a replica of the original and was covered in a tarp due to the hurricane at the time. After Salem, I went to my cousin's wedding, but I don't know how much he wanted to be in this video, so this is all I'm going to put of the wedding. The next day, I started making my way up to Maine to go see Acadia National Park. But before I got to Acadia, I stopped a few places first, like Newburyport, Massachusetts, and Portsmouth, New Hampshire, to do some exploring, walking around, and shopping. Eventually, I made my way over to Portland, Maine, where I visited the Portland Observatory. The Portland Observatory is a large watchtower, not a lighthouse, they get that question a lot. This observatory was used to watch for any incoming ships into the harbor. Then I went to go get fried clams for dinner, which I absolutely love and don't find much of in Texas. The next day, I made it to Acadia National Park. Surprisingly enough, this is the only national park in the Northeast. So here I am at Acadia National Park. It is so beautiful here. Look at this view over here. It is so green here. If you have the chance to come here, definitely take it. Check out some of these views from Acadia. So here I am at Acadia National Park. I did a hiking trail down to this area, which is a lake called Jordan Pond. It's called Jordan Pond, but it's a lake. It's kind of big for a pond. Here it is. I got up really close to it. There's the shoreline right there. Extremely peaceful here. All right, so I just got out of Acadia Park and I am looking for something to eat. So as some of you know, I live in Texas, which has like the best barbecue ever. But right now I am going to a main barbecue place. This place is called Mainly Meat Barbecue. We're gonna see how it compares to Texas barbecue. 
All right, here we are at the Mainly Meat Barbecue. I just got whatever this is. It's a really good drink. It's very fruity, watermelony. And the glass <laughs> says, rub my butt and pull my pork. And then I also got some soup to start with. This is the smokehouse something meat and potato soup and then of course clam chowder because i'm in new england you gotta get the clam chowder i don't know how good it is at a barbecue place though but we'll see all right so the barbecue is here moment of truth here's what it looks like Got the sampler plate, which is a little sampler of all of their meats. We got ribs, chicken. What else do they have here? A sausage. And some sides. All right, made my plate. So we got ribs, sausage, chicken, pulled pork, coleslaw, potato salad, and some baked beans. How's everything? All right, so I'm gonna try the rib. Mmm. That's really good. Some kind of dry rub on it. I mean, it's different than Texas barbecue. I think it's St. Louis style, but I mean, it's different, but it's still really good. All right, so I've had a few bites of this and it takes a little bit to kick in, but it's a little bit spicy. <laughs> a little smoky and spicy. It's not unbearable though. Like I don't like spicy stuff and I can still eat it, but it is a little bit spicy. All right, let's try the pulled pork. Hmm, it's really good too. I find usually that pulled pork can be really dry, but this one's good. It's not dry. Let's try the barbecue sauce. They have some kind of their like own barbecue sauce. Mm. Well, that one's good. It's pretty sweet. But in Texas, they don't really use barbecue sauce. They think the meat should just speak on its own, but this is St. Louis style barbecue, which they do use a lot of sauce. All right, now we're gonna try the sausage and the chicken. You know, that's really interesting. It actually reminds me of Chinese sausage. Mm. I can taste Here's the chicken. Yeah, that's also really good. I am not a, like a huge chicken person, like I'll eat it, but I usually like beef better. And when it comes to pork, I like bacon and sausage. I'm not big on like pork tenderloins, but I usually will choose them over chicken, but that's, that's really good. All right, so I am done with my lunch here at Meanly Meat Barbecue. Was it really good? Yeah. Is Texas barbecue better? Also, yeah, but you know, barbecue is the South's specialty. Up here, uh, you know, it's more about seafood. You know, we, we have barbecue here, but it's not really our specialty. Our specialty is like clams, mussels, lobster, mostly shellfish and seafood, but it, it is really good for, you know, something that isn't main specialty. All right, so apparently there's a dessert menu that is not on the dessert, but the waitress said that they had some desserts available and a homemade ice cream from some ice cream place next door that's closed now, but they still had some in the restaurant. So I got a key lime pie to go and some ice cream. So there's the ice cream and the key lime pie. 
lime pie with some whipped cream. These look really, really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna try the ice cream on the road. It's really, I, I don't want it for the guys. Airplane. Mm. That's so good. A vanilla ice cream is probably my favorite ice cream flavor. Oh my god, that is so good. All right, so I made it back to Portland and I am going to Friendly's. Oh, there we go. Friendly's. If you don't know what Friendly's is, this is a very New England thing. It's this restaurant that you can only find on the East Coast. It's like super family friendly. They have these Sundays that look like clowns. They're super adorable. I used to go there when I was a kid. So they have one here in Portland. So I'm going to go grab some there. All right, here I am at Friendly's. I got myself a honey barbecue burger. I was gonna order the fried clams, but I literally just had them yesterday, like last night for dinner. So I went with a burger instead and I'm definitely gonna get some of their famous ice cream as well or their fribble. All right, so I just finished dinner at Friendly's and I got a butter pecan fribble to go because they're closing soon and I need to get back and take a shower and sleep and get ready for tomorrow. Mmm, that's so good. <laughs>